Hi and welcome to Inbound Explain. In today's video, we're going to show you how to create a HubSpot chatbot. We'll look at how you can edit the appearance, how you can check on the results, and the different types of chatbots that you can create. So let's go ahead and get started. Chatbots are a great way to help qualify leads, you can book meetings, you can create support tickets, um, and you can even connect uh, visitors to your websites with a person on your team live. So there's a lot of different things that you can do with a chatbot. So let's go ahead and review how you can get started with it. So first you want to go ahead and go into conversations and then into chat flows. From here, you'll be taken to the page where you can see all of the previous chat flows you've created. And you can also go ahead and create your own by clicking create chat flow over here. With the chat flows, you have two different options. You could do a website chat flow, which is where you'll have a chat bot that exists on your website, or you can have one through Facebook Messenger. For this example, we'll do one on the website. And then from here, you have a lot of options that HubSpot um, has already created for you in terms of getting you started with your, with your chat bot. So let's just review a few of these options here. With the live chat, you're able to connect with uh, visitors on your website to somebody on your team live and they can have a live uh, conversation. With the knowledge base and the live chat, this adds in the live chat feature, but it also adds in the ability for users to search for articles that you have on your knowledge base, if that's something that you've already set up within HubSpot. These two types of chat, chat bots are not so much bots as they're live features and they allow you to function uh, they allow a user to chat live with somebody on your own team. Opposite to that, we have the bots. So these are more automatic um, and they're not with a live person. These are things that you have set up and this is what we'll be reviewing today in this video. So with the concierge bot, you are able to, a uh, user is able to ask just basic questions um, and the bot is able to, to direct them. You can qualify leads. You can set up a meeting, you can do support tickets, uh, you can still have the knowledge base if that's something that you have set up in your HubSpot. Uh, you can have the offline bot, and if you just have a need that is outside of one of these options, you can also create, create it from scratch. In this example, we're gonna go ahead and do a meeting bot because this is one that probably you could be using a lot with inbound, especially when it comes more towards the, the bottom of the funnel. So let's go ahead and press next. Then you have to set up uh, a few settings. Um, important to know before you even start creating a chat flow is that you have to make sure that you have a chat channel in your conversation inbox. Uh, so this is something that you probably should have already done when you set up your HubSpot account. Uh, but if you haven't set that up, then uh, you, won't, you won't be able to create your chat flow. So make sure that you connect a chat channel to your conversation inbox. Also keep in mind that if you're adding a chat bot on a page that is not hosted onto HubSpot, you will have to install the HubSpot tracking code onto those external pages before you create your chat bot. If you don't have the tracking code on your external pages, then the chat bot will not appear on that page. So keep that in mind before, before you get started. Okay, but in our case, we already do have our chat channel connected. So we're just gonna go ahead and stick with inbox here. If you have a lot of meeting links, so in this example, we're doing a meetings bot, go ahead and select the, the meetings link. I will go ahead and choose this one and go ahead and set your language for the chat bot. And let's go ahead and click on create. Okay, great. So if you're familiar at all with HubSpot's workflows, um, this might look a little bit familiar to you. It kind of works a little bit the same. Um, obviously there's some key differences, but, but, um, we'll take a look at those. The first thing you want to do when you enter in here is I always recommend just adding in the, the name for your chat flow. So in this case, we'll do inbound explained example. And then from here, you can go ahead and set up the flow that you want the chat to go through. So in this case, we already have a few things set up since we did a meeting spot, but I'll still show you the different options that you have. The first is, is you can go ahead and edit your welcoming message. So this is the first message that somebody would see when they are, um, uh, when they first encounter the chat bot. 
Um, you can go ahead and edit this to be whatever you want, and then you can go ahead and save it. So after the welcome message, then you can go ahead and configure a few different options. Uh, in this case, since we already have the meetings bot um, template set up, we already have a few different options. The first is the bot is going to ask for the user's name in order to set up the meeting. In this case, there are still a few settings that we can configure. The first would be the name of the of this just box that we see here, just as an organizational um, asset. So you can change what the the title is for each individual box. In this case, it's get name. You can go ahead and set up the message that appears to the user, and you have a few different options uh, here. As you can see, you can add in a link and a few different things. You can also add in a second message bubble if you want. Um, I'm just gonna write test just so you can see what it looks like. And then uh, with the visitor's responses, you also have a few quick options. In this case, it's not totally applicable to add in a quick reply, but you can add in uh, options for for users to, to select as they're responding. Um, and then you can also select where you want this information to be saved as what property you want this information to be saved as. So in this case, since we're asking for their name, we want this property to be saved into the contact name property. And we'll go ahead and save that. Here you can see the second bubble that we added. If you wanna go ahead and add in um, other questions that you don't see in the template that you've selected, you can do that by just clicking on the plus sign here. And then you'll see the full range of options that you have with the chat bot. So um, I really recommend just coming on into the tool and playing with, playing with it for a bit, just so you can see all the different options that you have within the chat flows. Um, but you can ask another question. You can do an if then branch, which again, if you're familiar with workflows, this is something that that will ring a bell for you. Um, you can do internal things like the CRM. You, if you have Service Hub, you can um, activate some service options. Again, there's a lot of different things. Um, I really just recommend playing, it, playing with it because that's the best way that you'll be able to learn the different options that you have. Finally, because we did a book a meeting, a uh, bot, all of the options for the um, for the meeting link and everything related to that will be here. Um, again, this is just the internal name, book meeting here. This is the meeting link that we select. And then this is the message that the user will see after they've successfully booked a meeting. Let's go ahead, just as an example, add in another, um, another option to the chat. Let's see, maybe we can Maybe we can offer an email subscription at the end. And we could say something like, while you're waiting for your meeting, join our newsletter or something like that. <laughs> you have a few different options here. Let's select the subscription type. We'll, be, we'll do a default. This is the message that the users will see once they've subscribed. And if the user chooses not to subscribe, this is what they'll see. I think that looks good. And all right, so we've gone ahead and we've added in one more option. So once you're happy with your chat flow, we can go ahead into target. And this is where we can determine where the chat flow will show up. So if you have uh, specific pages that you want your chat flow to appear, you can go ahead and, and, and put that here. So maybe with this uh, meeting link, meeting link uh, chat bot, we could put this chat bot on like product pages or service page. Um, that way people who are spending a lot of time on the page can can decide if they want to book a meeting uh, with somebody from your sales team. You also have the option to block where your chat bot appears and that's by adding that exclusion rule. So you can hide this chat and you can choose the websites that you want to hide the chat from here as well. You also have the option of just beyond hiding and showing the chat bot on certain pages. You can also hide and hide and show the chat bot based off of visitor information or their behavior. So for example, if you have a um, list that you've already created inside your CRM and you don't want the chat bot to show um, with certain people on your list, you can go ahead and select the list. In this case, we have it that um, people on in our demo tutorial list will see the chat bot, but if you go ahead and add in that exclusion rule, you can hide people from certain lists as well.
So you have a lot of different options there. Once you've settled on your target, you can go into the display. So this is where you can customize how your chatbot appears. The first is by choosing the avatar. So in this case, we have a picture of the robot. Uh, you can go ahead and change the photo if you have any photos within your files inside of HubSpot. And you can also change the name of your of your chatbot as well. And then um, you can also here select the behavior of your chatbot. So this is where we you can decide what the chatbot looks like when people enter into the page. So you can show um, you can show the chatbot with some text. You can just show uh, this little bubble here, or you can show the chatbot to open when it's when the trigger is met. Also, you can configure options for mobile as well. So probably in mobile, since you have a smaller screen, maybe it's better just to show the chat launcher like this. And we'll go ahead and save that. You also can decide when you want your chat flow to appear. So if it, look, if it looks like somebody's about to exit the page, the chat flow can appear. If they've been on the page for more than a certain amount of time that you've determined the chat, the chat bot can appear, or if they've scrolled on a certain amount of your page. Finally, the last thing you have to configure is your final options over here. Um, again, these are just options that you can go ahead and play around with and you'll see your different, see the different things that are available to you. Um, in this case, it, the options that you choose will just depend on the purpose of your chatbot and also who's available on your team and, and what kind of chatbot you've already set up. If you have GDPR, you can go ahead and select that at that here. And from there, you're good. So you can go ahead and um, preview your chatbot so you can take a look at what it's going to look like before you go live. And here you can see this is just an example of what the chatbot would look like on somebody's page. So once you're happy with that, you can go ahead and turn the chatbot on. And now that we have this um, switch toggled on, your chatbot is ready to go. So uh, if you go to your website, you should see the chatbot there. One important thing to keep in mind is that uh, with the chat flows, they are organized by priority on the page. So if you see here on the, <clears throat> on the chat flow page here, we have uh, different numbers. So probably when you save your chatbot, if you have multiple chatbots, your newest chatbot might actually be at the very um, end. All you have to do is go ahead and move this chatbot in order to up its priority. So the reason that chatbots are organized by priority is to ensure that if you have multiple chatbots, uh, that a user isn't overwhelmed with multiple chatbots on one page, um, the user will only ever see one chatbot and the chatbot that they see is determined by the priority of your chatbot. So if for example, you have two different chatbots, one has a priority of one, the other has a priority of two, but those chatbots are set up to fire on the same page, the user will only see the first chatbot that, that is in priority one. So just keep in mind the priority of your chatbot whenever you have them set up. But there you have it. That's how you can create a chat flow inside of, of HubSpot. Uh, again, this is really a tool that I just recommend you go ahead and play around with. There's really a lot of options that you have here, um, but it's definitely a useful tool within, within HubSpot. Thanks for following along with the tutorial. If you want more HubSpot tutorials, you can go ahead and click on the playlist that you see on the screen right now. And if you want more information about HubSpot or more inbound explained videos, go ahead and click subscribe and we'll see you in the next video.